So today we'll be going over non-exact differential equation. Now, the, the previous video, we went over exact differential equations, which we saw of the form a function of m dx plus a function of n dy is equal to zero. And they would be exact only if the partial derivative with respect to y is equal to a partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now, it's non-exact when these aren't equal to each other. So now from here, the main concept is to come up with an integrating factor that you're able to multiply both sides of this equation such that you make this differential equation exact. Much like previously when we went over the first order linear differential equations where we had the p of x and g of x functions, where we came up with uh, in what we call integrating factor, which was e to the power of the integral of p of x dx and then we use this value to multiply both sides of the equation such that we were able to solve this differential equation. We're applying the same concept here to non-exact equations. So we will be multiplying some factor, let's call this factor mu, and multiply both sides of the equation. So you have mu m dx plus mu n dy such that the partial derivative with respect to y of mu m is equal to a partial derivative with respect to x of u n, which will in fact make it exact. Now that you have it in the form of an exact equation, now you're able to utilize the method that we used previously to solve the differential equation. Let's go, so let's go over an example. So for this problem statement, we have verify that the given differential equation is not exact. Multiply the given differential equation by the indi indicated integrating factor, which is this mu function, and verify that the new equation is exact and then solve. So now in this case, we were in, we were given this mu function. So let's go ahead and check this um, differential equation first, whether or not it's exact. So of course, this was your m function and this is your n. So let's go ahead and check. So we have the partial derivative of n with respect to i is equal to this and the partial of n with respect to x is equal to this integrating by parts. Now, as you could tell, these are not equal to each other. So therefore, this differential equation is not exact. So now that we have this mu function, let's go ahead and multiply both sides of the differential equation and then test again if this is an exact equation. So this is a differential equation you get after distributing your mu on both sides. And I'm not going, going to go over it, but once you get the partial derivatives of n with respect to y and the partial derivative of n with respect to x, you will find that they are in fact equal to each other. So therefore, it is in fact exact. So initially it was non-exact. You multiply an integrating factor mu such that it will be exact and then solve accordingly. So what about what if we don't have this mu function? Well, let's go over another example where we actually solve for this mu function. Now, for this problem statement, we have solved the given differential equation by finding an appropriate integrating factor. So let's first check whether or not it's um, exact. So not surprisingly, they are not equal to each other. So therefore, this is a non-exact differential equation. So now, how exactly do we go about finding this mu function? Well, I won't be deriving it, but here are the formulas of the mu function. So now you have your, your mu function. You either have it with respect to x as well as with respect to y. Now, you could use either or depending which one, which integral might may be more um, convenient to solve for. So you have the mu with respect to x is equal to the is equal to e to the power of the integral of the partial derivative of m with respect to y. These are partial derivatives. Just keep that in mind. Take away the partial derivative of n with respect to x divided by the n function with three uh, dx. And then your mu, a function of y, is equal to e to a power of the integral of the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Take with a partial derivative of m with respect to y divided by the m function dy. So now these are your two equations that you're going to be using to solve for this mu function. And depending which one's more convenient, you'll solve and then you'll multiply your non-exact differential equation to both sides of the equation such that it will be exact and solve. So for this one, let's go ahead and use the m function, uh, the mu function with respect to y. So 
So we have e to the power of the integral 18x take away 6x divided by 6xy dy. And from here, you just solve the integral. And once you do that, you get your mu function of y is equal to y squared. So now let's go ahead and multiply the differential equation on both sides with this. So we have once we multiply a mu function to both sides of the equation, we have 6xy cubed dx plus 4y cubed plus 9x squared y squared dy is equal to 0. So this is your m function, and this is your n. So let's go ahead and check for exactness. So now we see that both of the partial derivatives of m and n, they are equal to each other, and therefore they are exact. And therefore, you could apply the, the method we used in the previous video to solve exact differential equations, which I won't be going over this particular example. So this is how you solve non-exact differential equations by by solving for a mu function such that once you multiply both sides of the differential equation, it makes it exact.